everyone. I am going to do some cooking uh, for my lunch. So a friend of mine at work gave me a bunch of recipes because she knows that I'm moving soon. She said that when you are out on your own for the first time, it can be really difficult to think of what to cook and keep it cheap and everything. But anyway, she was telling me about this chickpea uh, tuna salad, chicken salad type thing, but it's with chickpeas instead. And I was like, I don't know, because I love egg salad. I love chicken salad. I don't like tuna, but I just love like the egg and the mayo and the pickles or celery if you're a celery, you know? So I was like, okay, chickpeas, that's interesting. And then she brought it in for lunch. For her lunch um, a few days later and she cut a little piece off and let me try it and she has hers in a wrap um, so I tried it and then it was really fucking good so I was like I'm making that immediately and now I didn't make it to the grocery store but I finally went to the grocery store earlier this week and I finally have a free minute so I'm making it with chickpeas and then I will let you guys know how it is what? Mm. Look at little buggy bugs. I really want to make one of those TikToks that are all over. If you're on cat TikTok, that it's like the names my owners call me that isn't my actual name because Keefy here would have so many. You screamed for attention and now you're running away. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to make this. Um, I always make chicken salad and whatever else salad, egg salad with pickles because it's so fucking good. If you don't like pickles, get the F out of here. That's what I have to say. Okay, so I just uh, patted these dry and I'm going to let them air dry for a little bit, like half an hour or something, and pick all these things off. Ozzy, why are you doing that? Okay, so it's been a little bit. I watched a couple YouTube videos. And they're not completely dry, but that's okay. I don't think they have to be completely dry. So I'm going to put them in a bowl, and then I'm going to mash them up with a potato masher. Here's the said bowl and the potato masher. I'm going to put you on a time lapse now. So this is my plate, I put some Doritos on the side for a little bit of crunch. So I'm going to taste test this sandwich now. So I just put lettuce because I don't really like tomato all that much on a sandwich. So it's just lettuce and then I put coconut oil on the bread and then my chickpea salad. I already tasted the salad on, the, on its own and it's pretty good. Mmm. Um. Mmm. That is so good. The trick is to put a little bit of pickle juice in the mixture if you're a pickle person. Just throw some pickle juice in there. God, that is. Really good. Mmm. And pretty healthy, aside from the mayo, but you can always get vegan mayo or whatever kind of mayo you want to use. Make this. So it's four o'clock. I have to pick up my mom from work at five. So I'm just going to work on a little bit of homework right now until I have to leave. 
I'm working on my support marketing class because I had that class yesterday, except that it was um, not one you had to log in for. So now I have two video lectures to watch. The first one's 26 minutes. And I'm gonna write notes and whatever. And then she does it so that she has questions that you have to answer at the end. Um, and then you get like a one or 2% bonus on your grade just to make sure that you're actually watching and paying attention, which like I love and I hate because if she didn't do that for the extra grade, then I probably wouldn't watch the videos from like the every other week, which is really bad on my part. But yes, I'm going to do that now. And then freaking leave to pick my mom up. Yeah, I'm gonna do this now and I'll talk to you guys whenever I talk to you next. Hello, um, I'm just popping in here to say that I'm going to insert a couple random pictures and videos that I came across the other day um, because I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic about the past since we're in lockdown. So here you go. We are taking it down soon. There's just no room in the basement right now with the renovation. <laughs> I have class at 10 today. I woke up at 9 and then I got lost on someone's TikTok account. I think it's called Farmer Mommy. And she has all these farm animals and all these cute like little corgi dogs and chickens and ducks and goats and pigs and cats. And yeah, I got lost on her TikTok page and now I have 10 minutes until my class starts, so. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Contest too, but because you got 80% on these five assignments, How do I stop which are this all thing? smaller chunks, oh, you're still gonna good. come up with. So, um, I just finished class and actually <laughs> my prof, Started class at 10 instead of 9 today, which is great. Um, but he literally spent like the first hour and a half talking about the syllabus and course introduction and what he used to do about being a salesman. And so naturally, I kind of just tuned out because I've been listening to intro classes for like two weeks now i can read the syllabus i know it's helpful for other students for me i don't really um need a syllabus run through but that's okay and then he talked about an assignment that he just like dropped on us today that's due in a week but it seems really easy so i'm gonna do that right now and then he started talking about the PowerPoint from week one, which I've already done online notes for. So really I ended up online shopping because I'm trying to find something for Liam for Valentine's Day. Uh, we haven't actually said if we're doing gifts or not, but I keep asking him and he says, I don't know, with like shrugging shoulders. And last year we said no gifts, but then we both ended up getting each other something. I got him a keychain and he got me this ring. Um, so I'm gonna assume that we are. So I just bought this um, Miata car freshener off of Etsy. And then I was looking on Amazon for something else for him, but I ended up buying myself something. 
I found a smartwatch on there for $40 and I've always wanted uh, like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit or whatever to keep track of my steps and my sleep cycle and all that. But I don't, like I'm not going to spend $300 or $400 on one. I just think that's ridiculous. So when I saw this for $40 and all the reviews were really good, I was like, $40, why not try it? And I somehow qualified for um, free Amazon Prime for a month. So I was able to get that. So it'll either be here today or tomorrow. I'm thinking because of where I live, probably tomorrow, but I really wish it would come today. And yeah, that's that. I'm going to work on this assignment now and then just hand it in. And then I'm going to do some notes from my class from yesterday. And then I might work on another assignment, just get started on it. We'll see. Um, I'm kind of thrilled that I don't have a whole bunch of work to do today. So, yeah. Type on a computer. just finished my assignment. Like I said, I finished my assignment that I was working on. It was a pretty easy one. Like it was only like two and a half pages or something like that. But I'm really happy I got that out of the way literally a week before it's due. And now I'm just gonna check to see if there's notes for chapter two up and there isn't for that class. So now I'm just gonna finish my sport marketing. Um, lecture from yesterday and then I'm gonna chill out I think I have an assignment that I do need to start this weekend or Monday I could potentially work on it today but I don't know I'll see how I feel basically it's this group assignment for my personal edge class which is like it's a branch off marketing and it's like where you discover your personal brand, like what your brand is as a person. So we have to do this group assignment where we have to pick a celebrity and analyze their brand as a person and their brands. So my group picked Rihanna and I am in charge of the social media section. So I have to look at all her social media sites for all of her companies and everything and how she advertises and blah, blah, blah. And then my other section is, oh, and then research her recent appearances, which she doesn't have that many, but she did her um, fashion show late last year. I, she, my teacher keeps saying that it'll take like many hours to do, but honestly, I don't think it'll take that long. Like at least my sections. Plus it is really easy to write on someone when you really like them or know a lot about them. Like if we were writing on like, I don't know, Bill Gates or something, that would take me a while. But fuck that guy. Anyway, 